Hi, welcome to a Perkinometer video on maintaining your high performance Pinnacle AA system. In today's video, I will go over showing you how to reinstall the graphite furnace contact cylinders on the THGA instrument. The first step will be removing the previous contacts and tilting the graphite furnace forward so that the cylinders are accessible. Refer to my previous video on how to remove the contacts. Make sure that the contact housing is completely clean and free of particles. If necessary, blow out any graphite particles from the contact housing with a clean, dry, compressed air. We'll begin by installing the front cylinder. We'll need a hex driver, torx driver, long bolt, front contact alignment, and threaded adapter, as well as a contact set. To start, Slide the guide and the front contact onto the long bolt. Then slide the bolt into the front contact housing such that the new contact sits in the opening of the housing. Then screw the threaded cylinder onto the bolt until the contact and cylinder are against either side of the housing. Okay, now to push in the front contact cylinder, I recommend the use of a long hex driver. Tilt the furnace back into its original position. Use the hex driver to screw the bolt into the threaded cylinder and push the contact into the contact housing. Now screw in the bolt until the rim of the contact is flush with the contact housing. Do not use excessive force to push the contact into the housing as this may shatter the contact. If there is substantial resistance, check that the parts are aligned correctly. Screw the bolt out of the thread cylinder and carefully remove the tools. Do not scratch the contact when you remove the tools. Then blow out any graphite particles from the contact housing with the clean, dry, compressed air. Replace the pressure cylinder carefully, ensuring no damage to the O-ring. Now let's replace the rear contact. Before you do so, make sure the housing is completely free of any debris or particulate matter. Use some clean, dry, compressed gas to blow out the housing for the rear contact. To accomplish this task, you will need a hex driver, torx driver, as well as the long bolt, rear contact guide, and the threaded cylinder. Put the threaded cylinder into the opposite end of the housing. Orient the graphite contact with the dosing hole to the top. Then screw the bolt into the cylinder until the contact is pressed up against the housing. Again, ensure the dosing hole is at the top. Tilt the graphite furnace back into its original position. Then use the hex driver to screw the bolt into the thread cylinder. Push the contact into the contact housing. Do not use excessive force to push this contact into the housing as it may shatter the contact. If there is substantial resistance, check that the parts are aligned correctly. Screw in the bolt until the contact is flush with the contact housing. Now screw the long bolt out of the threaded cylinder and carefully remove all of the tools. Blow out any graphite particles with compressed air. Push the optical sensor into the rear contact housing. Make sure that you do not damage the O-ring. Tighten the two screws to secure the optical sensor to the rear contact housing. And reattach the temperature sensor. Tilt the furnace back to the original position and tighten the furnace locking screw to lock the furnace into place and insert a graphite tube into the furnace. Close the front contact housing and swing the support lever under the contact housing. Now your contact cylinders have been replaced. Ensure that you run a tube conditioning step prior to using the system again. Now that your contact cylinders have been replaced, you can restore the gas pressure, turn the power back on, and then I recommend running a conditioning step to condition your new graphite contacts and graphite tube. Your manual and these how-to videos are great resources to get familiar with the AA system. For more in-depth information or additional training options, please reach out to your Perkinomer representative. 